गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे क्लास एसी सर्किट कंटेनिंग एलसीआर सो दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन आई ऑन एन एग्जामिनेशन फाइव मार्क क्वेश्चन डिराइव एन एक्सप्रेशन फॉर इंपिडेंस आई एम पी ई डी इंपिडेंस ऑफ एन सीरीज एलसीआर सर्किट व्हेन अल्टरनेटिंग वोल्टेज अप्लाई टू द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ एलसीआर सर्किट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट so you practice number of times this is a five mark question impedance of series lcr circuit so how to write the circuit diagram friends this is the inductor l is the inductor this is the inductor symbol this is the inductor so inductor l capacitor c resistor r are connected one end to the other end the combination is called series combination Now inductor, capacitor, resistor are connected in series with an AC source. Alternating voltage applied to the LCR circuit. So the alternating voltage applied is pure inductor. So already you know the last class inductive reactance. The inductive reactance X L equal to omega L. Inductive reactance X L equal to omega L. X L is an inductive reactance. Omega is an angular frequency of AC. L is an inductor of inductance. Now the phasor diagram of in a pure inductor. So this is a voltage and a current. So voltage and current. Here I am. The phase difference between Voltage and current in a pure inductor 90 degree or pi by 2. Now the phase diagram, the phase diagram of a pure inductor. So this diagram represents phase diagram of the inductor. Now alternating voltage applied to a pure capacitor. In a pure capacitor, capacitive reactance H C equal to 1 by X C equal to one by omega C. X C equal to one by omega C. So X C is a capacitor reactance. Omega is the angular frequency of A C. C is a capacitance of the capacitor. So here also the phase difference voltage and current in a pure capacitive circuit, 90 degree or pi by two. The phase diagram of pure inductor. So sorry, pure capacitor. So pure capacitor now here I M here V C the phase diagram of a pure capacitor this is second diagram first diagram phase diagram of pure inductor so after potential difference across the resistor potential difference across the resistor potential difference across the resistor V R equal to so V R equal to I M Into R, I am into R. So I am is a the peak value of alternating voltage, alternating voltage. So in LCR circuit, R is the resistance of the resistor. So the phase difference in voltage and current in a pure resistor zero degree because same phase. So both both voltage and current have same phase at same time. So this is the phase of Phase diagram of a voltage and current in a pure a resistor I M here V R. So same phase at same time. So how do you represent phase diagram of L C R circuit? The phase diagram of the L C R circuit. So how to draw the phase diagram of L C R circuit? So I have to take the board. So you observe this one. So phase diagram of inductor. So V L. So I M. Phase diagram of the capacitor V C I M. Phase diagram of the resistor so O E. So now we have O B, O C, and O E are represents voltage across the inductor so V L. Voltage across the capacitor V C. Voltage across the resistor so V R. So after You construct the this parallelogram. So O A is a diagonal. This 
this diagonal OE which represents the peak value of alternating voltage. So now students here, inductor, capacitor, register are connected in series with an AC source. The AC source, so what V equal to Vm sin omega t, Vm sin omega t, the AC source voltage V equal to Vm sin omega t, V is a source voltage, Vm, Vm is a peak value of alternating voltage, omega is a what? Angular frequency of AC. Now potential difference across the inductor, ohms per, so ohms per V equal to I into R, ohms per V equal to I into R. But in AC electrical circuit, the potential difference across the inductor, inductor sim, potential difference across the inductor symbol what? VL. So now here, yeah, in V plus written as VL, the I is a current, but here current what? IM. IM is in the peak value of alternating current in LCR circuit. Now R, R is a resistance, but here inductive reactance, inductive reactance XL. Now potential difference across the inductor VL equal to IM into XL. IM is a peak value of alternating current. XL is a XL is a inductive reactance. VL is a voltage across the inductor. So now voltage across the inductor VL equal to IM XL. Now voltage across the capacitor or potential difference across the capacitor. So VC equal to VC. VC is a potential difference across the capacitor or voltage across the capacitor equal to IM IM X C. So this is equal to IM XC. XC is a capacitive reactance. XL is a inductive reactance. So now potential difference across the resistor. So VR equal to VR equal to IM into R. So IM into R. So strengths. Now you observe your three equations very important. Potential difference across the inductor VL equal to I am XL, where XL is the inductive reactance. Potential difference across the capacitor VC equal to I am XC. Potential difference across the resistor, so VR equal to I am into R. So the three equations are very important. VL equal to I am XL, VC equal to I am XC, VR equal to I am R. The above three equations are very important. So how to prove impedance? The three equations is very important. So V L equal to I M X L, V C equal to I M L C, V R equal to I M into R. So after here phase diagram. So how to construct the phase diagram? So phase diagram. So phase diagram here O B, O A, O C. Which represents potential difference across the inductor VL, potential difference across the capacitor VC, potential difference across the resistor VR. Now construct the parallelogram O, so O, A, E, D. This is a parallelogram. So this is a diagonal O, E. The diagonal O, E of a parallelogram represents the peak value of alternating voltage. So how to know the peak value of alternating voltage from triangle, from triangle, from triangle. So now here is triangle. What triangle here? O, A, E, O, A, E, O, A, E. The diagonal O, E of a parallelogram which represents a peak value of alternating voltage. So OA, OA equal to what? VR. OL, OB equal to what? VL. OC equal to VC. Now here, XL, inductive reactance greater than capacitive reactance. XL greater than XC. Then AE equal to what? VL minus VC. Then AE equal 
equal to what? Vl minus 3 is equal to what? Now to this triangle. So triangle O, A, E. O, A, E. Now applying Pythagoras theorem. In Pythagoras theorem diagonal. O, E square. O, E. This is E. O, E. So O, E square. So O, E square. Equals what? O, A square. O, A square. O A square plus after what A E square A E so A E square so applying Pythagoras theorem diagonal O E square equal to O E square equal to O A square plus A E square so now in diagram O E equal to what V M so V M V M square so O A, O A equal to what? V R. So V R square. V R square. Plus A equal to what? V L. So V L minus V C whole square. V C whole square. So V M equal to V M square equal to V R square plus V L minus V C whole square. So O A equal to what? V M. O A equal to what? V R. A E equal to what? V L minus V C. When does it take this value? If inductive reactance greater than capacitive reactance, then A E equal to what? V L minus V C. So V L minus V C. So V M square. So V M square. V R. V R is a potential difference across the resistor. So V R. V R equal to what? I am into R. Potential difference of the resistor. V R equal to I am into R. Now here V R square. I square M into R square. Plus V L. V L is a potential difference across the inductor. So V L equal to I am XL. I am into XL. So I am. Excel. V C potential difference across the capacitor. V C equal to so I am X C. So I am X C. So I am X C whole square. Whole square. Now students, I repeat one more time here. V M square. V R. V R is a Potential difference across the resistor. V R equal to I M into R. So V R square equal to what? I square M R square plus V L equal to I M X L. V C equal to I M X C. So I M is a peak value of alternating current in L C R circuit. R is the resistor. X L is a inductive reactance. X C is a capacitive reactants. So now V M square equals I M square to take common right side. In right side this equation what you take? So I M square take common. So in bracket R square plus here what? X L minus X C whole square. So now here Right side I square M a common. So after R square plus X L minus X C whole square. So V M V M equal to so I M I M into root square root root R square plus X L X L minus X C whole square whole square. So after the, this equation it is nice. this equation. So V M equal to I M root square root R square plus X L minus X U whole square. After I M take here. So V M. So I M take in the denominator I M. I M equals. So next now this I M take. Left side in the denominator. So Vm by Im 
equals what root square root r square plus xl minus xc whole square xc whole square so the ratio vm by im that is impedance the ratio vm by im so already you know the ohms law vr equal to ir so v by i v by i equals what r the ratio v by which gives electrical resistance r but here in ac electrical circuits vm by im the ratio vm by im vm is what peak value of alternating voltage what is im peak value of alternating current the ratio vm by im which gives what impedance of series lcr circuit the impedance symbol capital j impedance friends now to carefully you mention the symbol capital j do not mention any other symbols so j is a impedance of series lcr circuit so when you get z value the ratio vm by im vm by im which gives impedance of series lcr circuit so z equal to a root of the square root of r square plus xl minus xc whole square z is a impedance of series lcr circuit now z equal to root of square root of r square plus so xl xl is a inductive reactance xl equal to omega l xc is a capacitive reactance so 1 by omega c 1 by omega c so this is the final expression for what impedance of and series lcr circuit in lcr circuit how to calculate the impedance so using this formula z equal to impedance symbol capital j z equal to root square root of r square plus omega l minus 1 by omega square 1 by omega c whole square this is the final expression for impedance of series lcr circuit